problem is that people want the promise and the prize without the process. People want to have the things they see in their mind, they dream of, they envision, that they desire, but they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to wake up. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to deal with the fear. They don't want to deal with the possibility. They don't want to deal with the risk. They just want something to drop in your lap. It doesn't happen that way. You're going to have to make up in your mind that you're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to go out and find the opportunity that you need. And if the opportunity does not exist, you will create it. You will fight for it. You will strive for it you will push through it. There is no such thing as an easy win in life. Stop waiting on the easy win. Stop waiting on somebody to drop your prize in your lap. Start to work the process. Start to work the plan. Start to move toward the things that you say you desire and they will start to move towards you. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution, is you. It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. See, most people, ladies and gentlemen, are stoppable. Most people, all you have to do is tell them no. All you have to do is make it inconvenience for them. All you have to do is make it difficult for them and they're stuck. See, when you go to get your goal, don't think that all you have to do is think positive and everything's going to work out hokey dokey for you. When you go to get your goal, you are sending a telegram to Murphy's Law to visit you personally. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you still on the ground? That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. You already in pain. Get a reward for it. Life happens. Can you give me 120 and it's despite everything that's going on? I never quit. I never stopped. I never gave up. We just kept doing what we're doing. In the midst of everything we're going through, I don't need you to talk negative. I don't need you to speak negativity. We are under dark times right now, but stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Keep your head up. Stick your chest out. Continue to walk with pride and know that not only shall we overcome, many of us have already overcome. And if it was easy, everybody would do it. It's not going to be easy, but we have what it takes. It's in our DNA. Don't look at night as darkness. Look at night as a new beginning. Every time somebody told me I could not do something, I had a decision that I had to make in order to achieve what they said was impossible. The power is wrapped in the truth and in the power of their perspective. It's wrapped in your capacity, your ability to believe in a dream, even if nobody believes in you. Some of you have been knocked out by light and you got up and saw the blood, you, uh, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up.
When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. For a diamond to be produced, it has to go through extreme pressure, extreme heat. And if that wasn't enough, what makes a diamond a diamond is the cuts. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. After you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle, and you think it's over, then they turn on the heat. If you've ever studied the diamond, once it goes through that type of pressure and it finally becomes a diamond, at that point you can't break it no more. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. But I know what it feels like. I can't handle it. Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Evolve your belief system. Change is not pain. See change as growth. See change as transformation. See change as evolution. See change as necessary. See change as critical. See change as inevitable. And the more and more you start to see that change is not pain, you're going to see transformation. Your life's going to experience a quantum leap because now, even though in your childhood you were traumatized because of change, your history is not your destiny. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. But you have got to, to own what it is that you want to do. If it's taking care of your well-being, if it's just to take yourself to another level, it's you. You've got to make that happen. We can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down. But ultimately, it's on us. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask them, do you have a mind to change? If they say no, drag them to the altar. Tell them they got till midnight to get that fixed. They got till midnight to, to dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. People tell me all the time, it's hard to get wealthy. It's hard to grind. It's hard to be focused. How do you even do these speeches? It's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay broke. It's hard to stay depressed. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. You either go work for it. See, those of you who will evolve, who are willing to evolve, you will inherit the future. Those of you who are willing to take everything you do to the next level, you will inherit the future. It is the individual who is willing to become more. You're too close to quit now. You got to take another lap. You got to take another lap because you never know. This might be the one. You can't stop because you're tired. You can't stop because you got your feelings hurt. You got to take another lap. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. You're going to make it. You're going to do it. You got an unstoppable fire. Come on, take another lap. Don't you stop. Don't stop walking. Where have you been? Why are you here? And where are you going? 
You look at your life, you look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? And where are you going? What is it that you can get out of this session, out of this lecture? That when you leave here, rather than this just being a spectator event, that you've got some idea, some dream, that you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again and say, I've got to do this. This is my stuff. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. Where are you going with your life? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? It's possible you've got some talents, some ideas in you, your ability to do some stuff that you haven't even discovered yet. And I'm suggesting that it's necessary that you get outside of your comfort zone. It's necessary that you develop some new relationship where you can learn from people. It's necessary that you do reading, that you do research. It's necessary if you're already involved in some business, that you don't be satisfied with where you are. If you want to make it today, it's necessary for you to constantly look at ways of getting better. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, and it's necessary for you to challenge yourself to go after it and get better, but it's you. fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, domestic uh, abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.